G'day guys, my name's Zorro Taz. This is Doug, my 2017 Royal Enfield Classic 500. Just warming him up. It's been super cold this week. I haven't ridden it because I've been at work. Last night went down to about minus five. So I'm just warming him up a bit before I mess around with the tuning. So today guys, I'm going to plug my laptop into the Race Dynamics Powertronic uh, via the USB cord and use Artune to fiddle with the map and try and reduce the D-cell popping. So just put the plug in. USB in, uh, start the bike. Okay, so guys, do self popping, whilst it doesn't harm the bike, it is a little bit annoying, and it's where unburnt fuel is being ignited in the muffler. So, what I plan to do, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but the easiest way on something like the Powertronic, because it uses a throttle position sensor, is to increase the amount of fuel being sent to keep the uh, muffler cool or cooler so it's less likely to ignite. The other way we could do it is decrease the timing so we get a longer burn or retard the timing so we get a longer burn. But I think the easiest way to do this with the Powertronic is to uh, increase the amount of fuel in five point increments until we rule out that D-cell popping. So if we look, I'm idling at 1080. So I think I'm gonna leave anything from 1500 and below as idle. the six and a half thousand increase red line and I think I'm gonna set value at 15 so if you set it from 0 to 500 0% throttle 500 rpm you're gonna affect the item it's gonna sort of get choppy Send that to the bike. So you can already hear the difference. So what we might do is just increase it again to 20. Set. Send.
Francisco 25. So basically what we're telling the ECU to do is to override the stock fuel injection system to increase the amount of fuel at the 0% throttle position. So when you let off the throttle to return it back to zero, you get a shot of fuel which keeps the pipe and the muffler cooler less likely to ignite less diesel popping send and we might burn that so we burn it to the ECU we shut off vehicle proceed Just start up again. Yeah. So we burnt that to the ECU. Tuck our ECU back in. Now map switch. So if you put these above 40 points, you really will start to use more fuel. You'll see a noticeable increase in the fuel consumption. I'm using Powertronic R-Tune, but the concept would be the same on any piggyback ECU. You could ultimately do this exact same process using a Power Commander 5, or any of the other piggyback ECUs that are available for Royal Enfield. Basically, all you're doing is that there's your idle. I've got a tiny tack digital uh, RPM meter. I know that it idles at around that. So all I've done is adjust the fuel, increased it by 25 points to increase the amount of fuel that gets thrown at the 0% throttle. So you're uh, fanging along in high revs, you let the throttle off, you go into decel mode. Instead of 0% fuel, uh, we're getting five, uh, 25 points more and ultimately that's going to keep the uh, system cooler and in theory prevent ignition which will prevent that popping. The popping doesn't really do damage, but it is a little bit annoying on a long trip. Uh, it sounds cool, but for a long ride, it can get a little bit annoying. So I'm playing around to try and rule out some of that popping. It's got free flow air filters and a free flow exhaust, so I may not ever get rid of it. But this is the simplest way with the piggyback ECU to cancel out most of it. So we're going to put our gear on and we're going to take it for a test ride and see how well we've done. So I've been for a ride out to Union Bridge to make sure that the bike is up to optimal running temperature. And to just recap what we did in the driveway, I connected the laptop, connected R-Tune to the Race Dynamics Powertronic ECU, and brought up Map 1, which is the custom map I'm running that Powertronic sent me believing that it would be the best for the setup that I currently run. 
running on dog. Because I've got the free flow exhaust and the pod filters, there was still a bit of D-cell popping. And so by using the Mac and Archer, I added 25 points more fuel from 1500 RPM to 6500 RPM which is the increased rev limit of this bike using the Powertronic at 0% throttle and after doing a bit of research D-cell popping can be significantly reduced or fixed by adding more fuel above your idle RPM at 0% throttle. So using the tiny tack, I know this bike idles comfortably at 10,080 RPM and I set it that way because it's middle to high range suggested in the owner's manual. I found at the lower end of the idle range it did struggle a little bit on cold mornings. So from 1500 to 6500 I initially put in 15 increments revved it up it was better put it at 20 better again put it put it at 25 significantly reduced at no load and now I'm out road testing it and as you can hear T-cell pop almost non-existent which while D-cell popping doesn't really do any damage to the bike can be annoying this bike is quite loud and they did certainly turn a few heads with the D-cell popping through town so it's nice to remove some of that Five points it's basically running richer at 0% throttle keeping things cooler less likely to ignite the unburnt fuel that hits the pipes and muffler considering I'm running pods be a little bit of diesel popping but for relaxed cruising as this bike is designed for as you can hear there's little to no pop so it's five minutes of work with the laptop significant changes tractor factor of the torque kicking in there
but yeah, absolute success. I'll continue pootling along and I'll see you next time guys. My name's Alright Daz. Till then, I'm out. <laughs>